We last left you exploring the west coast of Tasmania, where it's safe to say not everything went to plan. Since then, we've moved on and started exploring some different regions of Tasmania. We've managed to tick lots of items off our Tassie list and we've had a whole lot of fun while doing it. It's apparently one of the top 10 beaches in Australia. It feels like another day in paradise. Wow, apples are timber. Shocked if like somewhere else in Tassie can beat like how pretty this is right now. Sarah, look at them! Mason, eyes on the road! I would have happily died for that. But in typical life on the road fashion, not everything has been smooth sailing. What's happened here has snapped. This whole track is surrounded by spider webs. Yeah, there's a spider on your back. Oh, there isn't! Maybe I second gear. Hold on. Should be slowing or braking? Yeah, going downhill, braking. Could be braking a bit more. Could be braking a bit more, sir. Am I doing a good job? Just brake. Am I still going okay? <laughs> You're stuck! Do you need help? You sure? I'm not happy you did that. So we have just pulled up at our first town on the northwest coast of Tassie. It's called Stanley and the sun has come out and the water is like crystal clear blue. So pulled up to the beach is the first thing we did and I just had to jump in. It's been like a couple days since I had a shower and the weather's been pretty shitty the last couple days. So I could not help myself. Had to jump in. I'm pretty sure she's starting to throw rocks. Yeah. <laughs> what? what are you doing? I don't know if she's angry or if she's just bored. I hope she's just bored. about to do something really special. What are we going to do, sir? We are. Well, we didn't actually know that this was a thing that we could do here, but we saw a sign when we pulled in um, near the beach. But we're going to hopefully see some penguins tonight. Accidentally, you're going to stumble on some penguins, hopefully. Yeah, they come up from the beach up to their little burrows every night, apparently. And there's like a viewing point near here. So let's, fingers crossed, that we see penguins tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Last night was an absolute success. Uh, we got to see lots and lots of penguins. They did make us wait for a long time, didn't they? Yeah, they didn't. They took their time coming up the beach, but then they all came in like this big bundle. Like they all like got washed up on a wave, and then there was like heaps of penguins just walking up the rocks. Yeah, there you could, so many. Because it got pretty dark, like when they actually arrived, and like on the rocks, you could just see like these little white bellies, and they looked like little frogs and like crickets like jumping across. It was so cute. Yeah, I was so happy I saw the penguins. Big success. <laughs> but now we're about to do the other main attraction in Stanley. We are heading up the nut. driven on from Stanley now and we have stopped in at apparently one of the top 10 beaches in Australia. Supposedly. It's called Boat Harbour Beach. It's um, beautiful. And according to Nat Geo it's yeah one of the top 10 in Australia. Holy shit. Oh my god it looks so, it looks so nice on the camera. <laughs> it looks really nice in person but I'm happy like you can kind of see how nice it looks on the camera. The rock hopper. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Oh, easy. Three points of contact always. Sarah has just jumped in the shower, so I figured I'd better surprise her and start cooking the dinner nice and early. We were actually meant to cook this like a few nights ago, but because it's been so long since I made it, we were out of reception and I needed to Google how to do it before I would have, because I, previously I have like cooked dinners and stuff and just winged it and completely stuffed it and ruined the meal. So figured I thought I'd be safe. Wait till we got reception and Googled it. So. Tonight we have reception and it's risotto on the menu. Here she comes. Look at her already. Nothing. Nearly done to stir through the chicken and the spinach. Just gonna let that settle for a bit and then it's just ready. All right, most important bit, give it a taste. Yummy. Mm -hmm. 
What do you reckon? This is amazing. This is like, I can 100% see why this is in the top 10 beaches. Like, this is beautiful. I'll be like shocked if like somewhere else in Tassie can beat like how pretty this is right now. Fingers crossed, but this is blowing me away. have been treated by some seriously good weather again so we've decided to stay at Boat Harbour Bay for the full day again. Yeah cause... we've literally it feels like another day in paradise like a walk. This is Paris. unbelievable. I am I love this place. Yeah this is blowing me away. <laughs> I've said this so many times, but we can't believe this beach. Like, it's so nice to be back by the beach for such beach people. It's um, funny because we actually left here today. So we went down to Burnie and did like a gym workout. I'm like, nah, let's go back. Like, yeah, we, we were only meant to stay a night, beach. but we're staying longer. Um, we had that beautiful sunset last night and we want to see it again. It's nice to be like finally like find a spot where you don't want to leave. Yeah, it's yeah. So good. This is what I was this hoping is what I for. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, we love it here. If you're in Tassie, Boat Hub Beach, best must spot. Must do. Absolutely must do. Oh my god, they're massive. They're right there, look at close now. Sarah, look at them. Mason, eyes on the road. I've never seen them that close. They were huge, two eagles. My life just flashed before my eyes then. I would have happily died for that. Oh my god. So we've just left the beautiful Boat Harbour Beach. Glad we got out alive after that little um, episode where Mason spotted the eagles. Bird watching. They were crazy. Um, sad to be leaving that beautiful spot. It was so nice. I reckon I had like my favourite day of the trip yeah, yesterday. <laughs> um, but we are headed on to Bernie now. We're going to go to the gym, have a shower. We need to do some food shopping, um, do a couple of things like that. And then we're going to check out our first Tassie winery. Um, it looks beautiful from the pictures that I've seen. So we are excited for today. A bit of teriyaki chicken cooking up with some coconut rice and then on the top we're just going to whack a little bit of cucumber and tomato. Sarah hates tomato though so I'm pretty sure all of that's going to be for me. Good morning, we're just making up brekkie. Good We've got uh, English muffins, avo feta, eggs today. We have to talk quiet because it's still pretty early <laughs> in this campsite. But yeah, we have an exciting day today. Um, we are doing a couple of cool things afternoon that don't normally fit within the budget but um we want to experience Tassie um and the cool things it has to offer. Yeah. We are going to a cider what do they call them? Cellar door. A yeah, cider cellar. What you call a cider place because you got like a brewery for beer, a winery for wine. Yeah, a distillery for gin, but this is a, anyway it's a cider place. Um and the cider beer. is my favourite drink and I'm excited because the sun's out and it looks beautiful. Right so we've sat in the car for the last hour because I said it was too early for a drink um, but it's like 10 to 12 now so we're gonna go Cheers! <laughs> we have finished at the cider place and it was really nice there we actually brought our laptops in and did like a little bit of work stuff um, we booked an Airbnb for tonight because Tassie has some of the best Airbnbs like they are some beautiful properties and we've booked one out of our budget but we wanted to experience some of the Tasmania's um, Airbnbs so we booked this one for tonight and we are so excited to show you. Look at this view, oh my goodness, what this do you think? This property is insane, like, we're on the property now and I don't know how far it is to the actual house but the view is the whole way. Oh my gosh. There. Amazing. I think this is our little Airbnb here. It looks so cute. Okay. Oh, wow. Look 
apples are timber. It smells like um like a bakery. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's the ceilings and stuff. Wow. <laughs> oh, this house is beautiful. When you pay heaps of money for an Airbnb, but you're still just more comfortable eating food in your tree. <laughs> it's just easier because all our food is in here. So we came out to make lunch and then we're going to go back in the house. done with cooking dinner but Sarah went outside and looked at the sunset and it's demanded we run outside and eat a cold dinner and just enjoy this it's so good so definitely worth it as we can see another beautiful day in Tasmania today it's an absolute cracker stunning <laughs> We have now left the northwest coast of Tassie and we've made our way down across the state and we are exploring the big smoke today. We're in Hobart. Capital of Tassie. Weather's pretty shitty, so let's get indoors and yeah. see some breweries, some cafes, and just keep as dry as possible. Wow. Queenie wipers. Look at that. This is so cool. 1824. This building must be so old. Oh, my goodness. I am excited. happened yeah this is never something that you want to see yeah. <laughs> not a good sign is it i don't actually know if anything's happened well something's happening because it's not starting properly or it's just starting slower like, yeah but it's never all we're, we're perceiving it just starts up no nah, it's um, never started like that it's definitely has started like that but not since we've been on this trip no. but um on our dash like couple of our lights are like flickering there's, like, there's not much on the dash but like a few lights are like flickering so it's not the greatest but and it's starting funny as well like it's not, not funny it's starting yet. as if the battery's dying so i don't know but we'll see <laughs> that has snapped if you can like see that off there so i think that is definitely my problem you can borrow my dish gloves if you want. Thanks in that. <laughs> They're hot pink, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I think I fixed it. These lights were flickering before and the battery wasn't going up. And I reckon I've fixed it. A lot of Googling and some tough, tough work. But <laughs> fingers crossed, I think we've done it. You're so clever. Oh, I'm actually so good at this stuff. Oh my God. I'm so handy. So that is back on there now. Over Chrissy time, I'll probably change that over. I'm not overly happy with like the washer that's on there. It's pretty old and beaten up, but I didn't have anything else for the time being. But the main thing is that it's actually charging now. So crisis averted for the time being. It's the morning after the repairs, hopefully it starts. I'm not overly confident. <laughs> Let's see. You so did such a good job. Up, oh my god. Let's charge it up. We're about to get on another boat. Got the tour guide sorting out where to go. Big math. Hello, Bruni Island. Bruni Island. Which way should we go? It's like the absolute. Yeah, it's we like literally the said the same thing when we got off the spirit. But where are we going? We're spending two nights here, I think. Um, That's no. The Weather's going to be pretty good for the yeah. two days. So. We might spend longer, we might spend shorter. We'll see. Sarah's trying something new. She would never, ever eat pickles. I don't know about this. I'm just going to have like a couple little bits. It smells nice. The maturing taste buds. 
Thoughts? That was absolutely delicious. I was hesitant to pull in because it was so early and I don't know, we had to turn around to oh, get to it. I'll just poke myself in the eye. Whoops. But um, that was absolutely delicious. Yeah, so we are, I think we're headed on to Adventure Bay now, which is meant to be a beautiful beach. Look at my eye. <laughs> we have an eye patch by the end of this one. <laughs> Look at this. This is never, or well, this has happened maybe for 30 minutes in your life. This has happened, no, for longer than that, but with my driving instructor. <laughs> I literally got driving lessons in this car when I was like 21. <laughs> so funny. And anyway. my life. Because we drove past another high top troopy and a girl was driving and now Mason is forcing me to drive. <laughs> oh my God. I need, L I, what about L plates? I can't do this without L plates. You, no, you've got a full license. Last time I did this without L plates, I got honked so many times. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty rude. But it's 40 k's an hour on this road. You're literally going to be in like maybe I second gear. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Uh, yep, now accelerate. Okay, my foot's off the clutch. Good job. Now I need to change. So you need to accelerate more. Clutch, clutch in. In? Yep. You need to steer as well. <laughs> Good job. Now you're doing fine. You'll be, you should just stay in this gear probably oh, the whole way up this hill. Okay. Look at oh. you go. <laughs> Am I steering properly? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> your eyes. Okay. Yep, perfect. Is that in properly? Yeah, it's just you're going to have to go down to second now. You lost all your speed. Oh, oh God. Yep. Good job. Okay, now we're going again. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I knew you would have fun. <laughs> What's happening? Nothing. You just clutched in. Yep. I can't get it. Can you put it in? Yep, you're in, but you lost your momentum again. Don't freak out as you're trying to put this stick in. Just like calm. It wants to go there. So now. There's a car behind me, and I feel really bad. What am I doing? Am I going okay? Oh, I was having fun until there was a car behind me. You're literally going 40 k's an hour. Am I doing a good job? I should be slowing braking yes, properly. Yes, yes. Oh. Going downhill, braking. Oh. Braking. Maybe brake a bit more. Maybe brake a bit more, sir. Fuck, my foot was to the floor then. I'm not looking. Just brake. Braking. Oh, shit. Am I still going okay? Yep, that was the bad one. That was an absolute roller coaster of emotions. Oh, I Brecky after our sunrise venture to the neck. A um, very productive morning, I'd say, yeah. It's not even 8am yet, and we're starting our second walk, so getting off at sunrise is hard, but... Um, it feels like it's... we've been away for so long, but we've done yeah. it so much, it? it's like 8am, but we are starting another walk now. We're doing the Cape Elizabeth. Cape Queen Elizabeth walking trail, track thing. Um, I think it's like... A 12k walk, but I don't know if we'll do the whole thing. Yeah. There's a certain spot that I want to go to. It's like a beautiful like rock formation thing. So I want to get to that. I think that's about halfway ooh. into the walk. So yeah. But to be honest, it could be like right at the start. It could be right at the end. We're not fully sure. So so we'll see we're where this takes us. <laughs> so this whole track is surrounded by spider webs. Sarah was ducking and dodging them like laser beams, but 
You can walk through them now. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I can see how many you're walking through. Really? Oh, there's a spider on your back. No, there isn't. Yeah, there's a spider on your back. Oh, you... There isn't. <laughs> can you get it off? There's not. You're just saying that. You guys all saw that, didn't you? It honestly was like crawling up your back. Look, where's it going now? Mason, stop. So it is about 12 to 13 degrees today. Um, we were about to start this walk in like puffer jackets, pants, really laid up and it was an absolute mistake. It is so hot and this walk is actually quite steep, like up like a sand dune. So my shirt's off, my pants are being rolled up and if I could, I would honestly slip down into some more jocks, um, get the water on me because I'm actually battling at the moment. Once again, Sarah's done it and walked off on me. Absolutely left me alone on the track, so I better run after her. After a bit of time looking on the beach for what we wanted to find. We didn't think we'd be able to find it. But we've just walked over this cliff and we've- This is what I was trying to find. But, but the tide, it said you could come at high tide, but the high tide is just like rushing through the archway and the photo we wanted to get is just not going to work. But it's uh. real. <laughs> And the tide is coming right in. It's right oh, there's a wave's coming. <laughs> Go now, 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 now. Quick. Run, 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 run. <laughs> All right, we kind of got the shots we wanted. We had to kind of time it with the tide. So when the tide was like, like the waves were coming in, we couldn't go and then we'd quickly run in as they were going out. It was and funny though, but it was, yeah, it's nice. Like I think- It's a really nice spot. Mm. Probably come at low tide and you'd like get the perfect shot and you can actually go a quick away when it's low tide as well, so. I'm surprised where we found it though. So if you're facing the beach, go to your- Right hand side. Right. Sarah's really bad with her left and right. She has to do I like the finger thing. Time. But yeah, if you're facing the beach, go to your right hand side and you've got to like climb up and over like yeah. a rock bit if and you come at high tide. Yeah, thing. definitely worth the walk. Now we're just going to do the 4K walk back uphill. <laughs> so looking forward to it. Back over she goes. Here right. Oh my God. You're stuck. Far out. All right, this is how you don't get over the... What are you doing? You're like a frog. Do you need help? You sure? Oh my God. Quick. Sarah, it's not like... Oh my God. I'm about to get hit by a wave. Oh no. There you go. We just finished the walk and directly across the road was the Bruni Island honey store and we went in tried some samples and stuff and we got a bit of honey <laughs> mustard for our burgers it was so good we actually went that in with Mason's the treat. went in with the intention of not buying anything but I had to do it so we we're gonna go somewhere else for some local produce <laughs> yeah. if they've got some left so we'll show you that this is our next little um, local produce stop Look at that. How cute are these? We came here yesterday and we were a little bit too late for what we wanted, but we wanted the cookies and there was no cookies left. <laughs> but the fridges are stacked with bread as well and it's still warm and it smells amazing. Yeah, and there's so many different kinds, so. How many cookies do we get? I'm not happy you did that. That's. Oh, I'm so oh my God. You... No, you've ruined it. Okay, we've finished on Bruni Island now. We're just in the line waiting to get on the return ferry back to the mainland. Was that what we would call it? The mainland, the mainland of Tassie. Of Tassie. Yeah. <laughs> um, we spent a night here. I probably reckon that was enough time. Um, yeah, I, I think it was probably enough time for what we did. You probably you could have definitely spent longer. Like I reckon mm. if the weather was like perfect, like 
warm sunny i would like happily stay a bit longer but like maybe if we had more money as well because there was lots of nice places yeah. to like eat like wineries and stuff but we've already spent a lot of money this week being yeah, in like the city and getting over here and stuff so we're trying to save a little bit this week um we shouldn't have bought that bread but never mind <laughs> it's, it's so we've been picking at it it's so yum but yeah we're getting the ferry back to the mainland and then i don't know we'll see where the afternoon takes us uh -huh.